Well, when you book a venue for a big event more than a year in advance, you expect it to be there for you. So what happens when two people book the same venue on the same day? Families in Sun Prairie are finding out. Some say the district's remedy is hardly fair. Brad Hamilton is with us to explain, Brad. Susan and Eric, Sun Prairie booked the Alliant Energy Center for this year's graduation back in April of 2021. But families found out just last night that the date they thought would be has now changed, leaving some with an impossible decision to make. Congratulations. Feel free to throw your cap. Graduation day. It's something that Maddie Wirtz Olson has been looking forward to for a while now. As the year goes on and on, they talk about like the senioritis where all you're sort of looking forward to is like graduation day. But now she may have to decide if tossing her cap with her fellow friends and classmates is more important than competing for the right to go to state and track. And then here that you would have to pick between two things you've looked forward to was like saddening and angering and like disheartening all at once. In a letter to parents last night, the Sun Prairie School Superintendent explained the district had to move the high school graduation up a day from May 27th to May 26th. Apparently, the host site, the Alliant Energy Center, double booked the 27th with Broadfest. The district says it looked at other options, but between the AEC's roof, parking, and ample space, it made more sense to stick with the site and just shift the day, competing with the track sectionals. With Wirtz Olson's track sectional final scheduled for May 26th, her father Scott says this puts their daughter in an impossible situation. Do you go to graduation and skip postseason of your last year as a, a varsity athlete? That's not fair to ask. The original date that was put on the calendar avoided all these conflicts. Maddie's dad, Scott, is frustrated by the dilemma and the fact that he already ordered invitations that now have the wrong date. Despite the district's pledging to make accommodations for track athletes, his family hopes it's not too late for the district to come around. The, the teachable moment here is that you advocate for what you think is right, and she's advocating in, in the school building today, and I'm advocating with you. We will have that entire message from school officials posted on our website, channel3000.com.